Hey guys, Tom here with another WWE 2K17 video. If you are new around here, then subscribe for up-to-date WWE 2K17 videos. I always bring you all the up-to-date news about the game. You guys are absolutely loving it, so if you can smash the likes, let's get right into this. So today we are talking about possible new features being added into WWE 2K17's Universe Mode. So a few days ago now that we found out that there will now be promos, there will be a promo engine in the Universe Mode of this year's WWE game, which honestly sounds really interesting. Now this news was released last Friday, but along with that news there was also a little mini statement within that release talking about a presentation system in this year's universe mode. So the new quote says, our new show presentation system makes players feel like they are playing through a weekly episode of any WWE television or WWE network program. So what is this show presentation and what does it really mean? To me, this sounds like they're trying to attempt to make universe mode seem a little bit more realistic and flow like a casual episode of Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, which honestly sounds r really cool. It sounds awesome. So let's have a little talk about some of the things they could be adding into this year's game to, you know, make it feel like you're actually watching a program on TV. One of the things they could add is promos in between matches. So you may have booked your show, you've selected all the matches which are ready for the show, you click to play that show on the universe mode and in between maybe one or two of the matches on the show, you might get a promo from one of the superstars hyping up their match before they cut to the ring and come out in front of the crowd. This would fit in with the new promo engine and, you know, would add a little bit more excitement into the matches and really get you hyped for the match you're about to play. Another feature they could do to make it a little bit more realistic is have little mini short matches. You remember that point where Sheamus beat Daniel Bryan with one bro kick at WrestleMania 28? They could really do stuff like that. So the minute a match starts, maybe one of the superstars in the ring could start with a finisher. So the only thing they have to do is press Y or triangle, they hit their finisher, and they could pin their opponent and win. That would make some of the, some of the matches really unpredictable. Another feature they could add to make it more realistic would be to have, when you're playing a pay-per-view, a pay-per-view event on your universe mode, you may have to hit more finishers to win the matches because we all know on a standard episode of Raw or SmackDown, one finisher usually wins the match. But on a pay-per-view, John Cena, AJ Styles, Roman Reigns, the likes of them, they can kick out of maybe two or even three finishers on a pay-per-view match. So maybe a feature they could add is finishers aren't as strong on pay-per-views. Another thing they could add is pre-show matches. So you book your show for your universe mode on your pay-per-views or Monday Night Raws, but maybe when you're booking your pay-per-view, there's a little slot for pre-show matches. They could even have a panel hyping up some of the matches, maybe some video packages, something like that. Now, obviously, these video packages would be pre-recorded, so the clips you'd see in the video packages wouldn't really be what you've been playing as for you, through your matches, but it's just something else they could add to make it just, you know, flow better and feel like an actual WWE TV program. One Another feature they could add would be the top two matches on a pay-per-view, maybe the top two or three matches on your pay-per-view right at the top of the match card have video packages because they are the most important matches. And usually when you're watching the WWE Network, the top matches, they all have video packages. So why not have video packages for the top few matches on your pay-per-view card? They could also add a feature where locations matter. So, you know, when the, when the WWE went to the UK, Bad News Barrett, Wade Barrett, he always got cheered. And when John Cena goes to Chicago, he always gets booed. So why don't they make it so locations actually matter? One other feature I think they could add is little animations in between matches. You know, you could have limos pulling up of superstars arriving at the arena, backstage attacks, superstars going into the general manager's office, just something which makes the game flow a little bit better. And you could kind of use some of these cutscenes to really build your universe mode and make some really exciting stories. Another really important thing that they have on the WWE TV programs is tweets. You have tweets going along the bottom, you have what's trending, they could do that. That'd be really simple to do. It would just be made up tweets, but it'd look really cool when you're playing the game and people are reacting 
and in tweets at the bottom of the screen. Now, the computer would have to program these tweets, but just little small things like that just make it seem really cool to play with. They could also have a feature where they cut to the commentary team, you know, before a match or something. Michael Cole says a little comment before the match like, oh, I'm really excited for this next match. Just something like that, which just makes the show flow a little bit better. Now, Byron Saxton on WWE Raw has actually started interviewing people after their matches. So why can't we do that with the new promo system? I really feel like this could be a feature they could add into the game to go alongside this whole universe mode and having better show presentation. So what do you guys think of these? Do you think these are good ideas? Do you hate them? Do you not think they're very good at all? Or do you have anything else to add? What would you like to be in universe mode to improve the show's presentation and kind of make them feel like you're actually watching a TV program? I'm definitely going to be bringing a universe mode on my channel, so watch out for that. That should be really exciting and hopefully some of these features are actually in the game. That would be pretty awesome. Anyway, smash that like button, subscribe for more 2K17 videos. Hopefully you have in fact enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Spike your hair.